Checkpoint inhibitors represent an exciting new class of immunotherapies that are transforming how we treat a broad range of cancers. Recognized by the Nobel Committee for Physiology or Medicine in 2018, these novel therapeutics are the result of years of research and represent the culmination of scientific and technological advances going back decades. While there are many recent advancements in immunotherapy research, there is still a need for new tools to streamline the process of studying this class of therapies. Current workflows for studying checkpoint inhibitors in preclinical models are time-consuming and labor-intensive. Traditional cell-killing assays are endpoint assays. The gold standard is known as the chromium-51 release assay. The chromium-51 release assay relies on measuring the amount of radioactive material released into the culture medium as a way to determine how effective the T-cells are at killing the plated tumor cells. Similar to the chromium-51 release assay, the LDH release assay detects permeabilization of the tumor cell's plasma membrane as a measure of effector cell killing through the release of intracellular enzymes into the culture. These endpoint assays have a narrow window of measurement at the end of four to six hours, which is not representative of a physiological immune response. While multiple time points are possible, these become laborious as the number of treatments and time points increase. They also have low sensitivity, often require high effector to target ratios to measure specific cell lysis, and may not show complete target cell killing, making them irrelevant in a clinical setting. So while the biology underlying the effectiveness of this class of therapies is becoming clearer, the tools used to study them still need to be improved. Fortunately, this is changing. New high-throughput technologies in cell tracking and analysis are making the process of monitoring effector cell killing simpler and more reproducible.